Yeah, you don't have to worry. They've got it fully stocked here at Brownsboro H Hardware and Paint, and they have more in the back that they are prepared to bring out when this stuff starts disappearing. You guys asked what the best sled might be from our uh, Wisconsin expert over here, Jim, um, and he says it depends on how big of a daredevil you are. So he has several options um, for anybody looking for a sled. Jim, take it away. All right. Well, this is our best seller by far. This will be great for a, a child or an adult. Uh, easy to use, made in the United States, which is great, uh, up in Maine. If you got a little toddler or something that you want to have some fun with, this is a great sled. Uh, got the safety belt and so on. Uh, take them around with the rope and so on. Now, the daredevil side, if you really want to go crazy, <laughs> nothing like a good saucer to spin around down the hill. So that one's going to get speed and rotation. Right, right. So you okay. never quite know where you're going to end up. Uh, <laughs> for the larger groups, this is a great heavy-duty sled. Uh, lots of people... Uh, you know, kids and adults can get on that one. And, and you can kind of control, like, the where you're going a little bit with right. that one. So you lean and, and pull to one side or the other. That's going to steer you up and down the hill. Um, and then, of course, we always tell all the kids, if you're heading towards a tree, just bail out. Don't, <laughs> okay. Don't try to take it into the tree. And uh, the classic, the flexible flyer, uh, those are always fun. Uh, those turn by just uh, pulling wow. on this one way or the other. Uh, this is a little better on icy events or bigger snow events, but any of these others will work great uh, with two inches of snow. Now, I'm looking up here. It looks like those are some plastic swimming pools up here. Is this that, an option, too? <laughs> that's an option. If you've got a big group, you can always take the pool down the hill. Absolutely. Okay. And you said people have come in for those. We have done that in the oh, past. Oh, my goodness. In addition to this, you've got your salt and your shovels as well. How, did you see an increase in people coming in yesterday to oh, get yeah. ready? We, we were very busy yesterday, people getting prepared for the event. Uh, all three went out yesterday, and, and we expect the same today. Absolutely. Well, they opened up at 8 o'clock this morning, and, and it, talking about these sleds is bringing back some, back some memory. I'm from Arkansas, not a lot of snow down there, um, so you're not really ever prepared. Um, so one of the weirdest things I've ever actually sled on is, is, a, uh, is a cooler chained to a four-wheeler. Um, I'm not saying that's safe, I'm just saying, man. The memories people are going to make on the snow it. day. <laughs> Do not try this at home. Oh. Bad advice from Alex Do Durham not. this morning. Oh. So she lived to tell about it. Y'all, I grew up in southeast Texas, and one year we got four inches of snow, and it was crazy. And there were people on water skis, uh, snow skiing, off the backs of pickup trucks. So uh, that's how we do it in the south sometimes.